Uh, really good dovetails require one cut to be perfect, and that is the plum cut on the pins. When you're doing the angles on the tails, they can be off a little bit and it doesn't matter. But when you cut the second half of the joint, being the pin board, those cuts have to be perfectly plumb in order for that joint to go together without having either a gap or being, showing a split. So let me show you something I have that may help. What you do is take your dovetail saw and put it in your vise so that it's holding it standing plumb. Take my dovetail trainer, there's a little nylon set screw on the side, and as long as your saw has a quarter inch brass back, it, and it'll fit and it won't leave a mark, put that in place. Now there's a bubble here, and you simply adjust it, that, bubble move, that level moves up and down until the bubble is in between the two lines. Then the set screw in the front, you loosen that, and there are three notches on that dial. You line the center notch up with that main notch that runs through the body of the dovetail trainer. Once that's in position, I'm just going to set that to the side. Put my board in the vise. Now I always want to make sure the board is standing plumb. So using my square, I'll simply line that up. Now, get in position to saw. Using my index finger and thumb as a guide, I simply hold the saw and get into position so that that bubble is sitting between the two lines. Now I know my saw is standing plumb. I can start my cut, and a good saw, the kerf will take over after about an eighth of an inch and guide the rest of the cut, and you'll end up with a plumb cut. Now, if you want to practice making your angled cuts, you can simply take your bubble level and move it down until either notch, whichever side you're going to be cutting, lines up with the center notch. Now, when you hold your saw in position, when that bubble gets between the two lines, you're sawing at approximately 10 degrees to one side. And then to do the opposite side, you move the bubble level over until the opposite notch lines up with the center notch. And now you've got 10 degrees on the other side. And there you go. Now this is designed to help develop muscle memory so that you can know where that plumb is in particular. And as long as your saw has a pistol grip, which registers in your hand the same way every time you pick it up. A little bit of practice with this and you'll get those cuts just perfect. It's Rob Cosman's Dovetail Trainer.